today, guys, we have the Small Cooler Survival Stash. This one's probably Tote 12 Got. They pretty much made out of any little cooler you can get. Um, I would pick one up, honestly, or look for them at garage sales. You can find them very cheap at garage sales or Goodwills. They all work the same. Just make sure everything's still properly sealed. But once you get it home, if you want to make sure it's actually, like, correctly sealed, just go ahead and take some soapy water, run it through it, put some pressure on it, see if any air comes out, and there you go. But yeah, um, these are pretty basic. You can put them in leaf piles, bury them under some light rubble, put them in dirt, uh, seal them up with duct tape or any kind of adhesive like that. Even like a light uh, caulk seal around the edge here would work. And then you just take a razor blade or a knife or just pocket knife and just wedge it open, slice it open. Um, have some oxygen absorbers in there, moisture absorbers, and you're set. And you have whatever you need in there in any size capacity. And yeah, let's get into it. This one's pretty loose. A lot of them do snap in. Some uses the handle. So whatever adhesive you'd be putting on there would be what's holding it. If you do do adhesives, I would recommend putting some kind of strap on this just to keep the pressure away from the adhesive and more the like seal on the adhesive than the pressure because eventually it would just pop up. You'd think at least. Um, but let's get into it. Here it's gonna be a very tight little frame we got to work with. Here we have a dish. This is some paper we got from a uh, last video idea that I didn't clean up. Uh, but this can be used as a dish, a collection tray, of uh, the eat out of, anything like that, collecting wild edibles. Or even, or most importantly, transporting water. Use a gravity filter. Here we have a fresh pair of socks. Some good old avocado stitch. Very nice stitched warm socks it's always good to have a nice pair of dry socks for you and fresh socks here we have our german winter hat just to keep our ears warm keep our head warm it's a great hat i've worn in multiple blizzards and walking through the winter and have these air issues with it. it has this great thing that keeps the snow out of your eyes next up we have our micro fishing kit which is just one little banner of line a few fishing hooks down here we have some fake bait and some sinker snaps. Put the bowl out for you guys. Socks in there. Yeah. There we go. We have two yellow glow sticks, mostly for signaling. And you can also use it to light up your area. But we also have a flashlight, the zooms. The button is also glow in the dark. It's a great little light, it has multiple different modes. Takes triple A's. Here we have a headlamp. Bright, dim, uh, night light, and then strobe. Here we have a top end of a face paint for Hunter. And I just took the mirror off of it, made it my signal mirror. Or if you just want to look at yourself and clean yourself up, make sure you're secure good, check your back, like that. So next we have our flask full of desirables. We have a little be smart, get prepared first aid kit. I have a little video on that. If you guys want to see what's in there. We have a little belt here. This can be used as a tourniquet or just a basic belt. You never know if you're gonna have a belt on you when you go to this stash. And here's how I kind of plan on carrying everything. It's a dump pouch for a plate carrier or tactical belt. And I just plan on putting the whole kit in here. Or use it as a foraging bag if need be. But yeah, I thought that was a cool idea. Next up we have our little pieces. We have our spearhead, arrowhead, line collectors and hooks. We have our microfilament lens, fire starting, gear repair, first aid. We have our signal whistle. Communication in the wilderness is great. So if you have more than one guy, you wanna communicate without yelling, 
trying to make howl or owl noises. You have a whistle. No one's gonna really know what you're saying. You can still communicate pretty vastly or pretty long distance. Here we have a survival card. And I have a whole bunch of little wrenches, screwdrivers, and whatnot. A saw, knife blade. Great little tool. Whatever expands your capabilities is great to throw in these kits. You know, I just want to be able to do more and more and more and more things. So if it comes to it, you're not just sitting there with nothing in your hands. Here we have our neck scarf or face mask. We got this at the dollar store. Great little thing. You use to fill the water, first aid, signaling, trail marking, rip it up, tie it up to the limbs, stuff like that. Here we have our little wire saw, a little bit of a different handle. It's something. We have our Rothko military sewing kit. So we have our needles right here. It's a little piece of foam. And then we have our threads. We have our extra pieces of sewing equipment, safety pins, and also some little micro uh, folding scissors, which are really cool. I believe that's it for this kit. And there's also a space here where I could add some more items, but I have not done that yet. Here's our Frontiers water purification straw. I'm gonna cut down a straw and I went ahead and tied it on with a uh, trash, trash can tie off. Goodness sake. Here we have a 50 foot uh, strand of 550 paracord. Love this little thing. For fire starting, we have a pack of UCO storm proof matches. I'll make sure I got that out right. And um, we have our Bic lighter that's covered in uh, duct tape. You just go ahead, pretty much rip off this, like this little piece right here. I'm gonna make a thick so you don't just tear strand. And take that. And I would roll it up because I like mine to last a little bit longer, so it makes it burn slower. And you just light that. And then you put that in your tinder bundle. You don't have to waste your fuel. You don't have to have your lighter right up in there. You can just put that in there like a match and it'll do the same thing. Yeah, that's why I wrap my lighters in uh, duct tape all the time. Even in a not survival situation, it helps. Here we have our Gerberg Scandinavian. Not Gerberg, I'm sorry. It is our Mora. Gerberg uh, Scandinavian blade. I messed that up in my last video and I apologize. It is the Mora, okay? Not the Gerber. Um, I love this thing. Um, Mora and blades in general I've loved. I've loved them since they came out with the Scout or something like that. I have another blade that has the fire, Fear Serum blade, a Fear Serum rod in the uh, handle. And I had the one that was just a plain blade and a plastic sheet like this. I love, love their blades. I love their sheaths. I love their fair serum rods. Great company. Great um, uh, tools. I'll leave a link down in the description for this one because I honestly love this knife. And I'll probably never get another knife after this. Unless it's for a very special reason. Because I have this one, a Smith & Wesson. That is a full tang. I love full tangs. And it's a discontinued model, so I'm just not getting another one of those. And these are, those are two knives I'll probably have for the rest of my life. They're great knives. Great company. Smith & Wesson and Mora, but I love Mora. But as I was saying, great blades. Um, you only need one for a lifetime, honestly. I'll leave a link down in the description. Here we have our container for water. A little canteen. They usually have a cooking pot in them. This one does not but you can find the, the ones with the cooking pots attached at the surplus store for very cheap. Next up, we just have a basic tourniquet. Never know. Better than not having one. Here we have our compass. Basic camping compass. Water purification tablets. One of my favorite multi-tools, even though it's not a brand one. 
We got a nice little multi-tool. It's got this cool chain, so it has like a nice stable like gripping area where it's not rubberized, but it is a good grip. I believe it has like a full size. Well, we have a knife like saw. We have a knife. We have our screwdriver. Phillips head. Knife. Flathead. Pretty sure that's the little piece. We have a nice file. Pretty sure this is the piece it goes into all these. These just attach on there so you can disassemble pretty much a good amount of equipment with just this little multi-tool. That's what I love about it because survival situation disassembling could manufacture a great survival tool. Put together something for water purification or shelter, signaling, or just fix something. Here we have a 55 gallon trash bag, mostly for uh, staying out of the rain, water collection, sleeping bag, you can make it with a whole bunch of foliage you just throw in there. Yeah. And we could also couple that with this survival blanket or the mylar blanket and put this as a backing to our shelter or an insert with our sleeping bag with foliage in this, keep us warm and dry and comfy. Not that comfy, but yeah. And then you have the good old bottom of the cooler for water collection. And yeah. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thank you guys for watching the video. Have a nice day.